okay, okay. This is, this is gonna be a long video, dude. Oh my gosh. Alright. Let's play this. Oh, oh, there's the thumbnail. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. How do I? Wait, shh, shh. Are you serious? Can I, like, what are you? Oh. I'll figure it out. Okay, can I? Can I? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot my intro. <laughs> um, hey guys, it's Phantom here, and today we're going to be playing Setbox V7 Underworld. Now, first of all, yes, I didn't play V7, uh, what was it, Embers, because, well, I do have a video of it, but I accidentally streamed it, like, a few months back, and I, did, and I just didn't feel like, and I wanted to, and I couldn't download it, since I don't have YouTube Premium. Uh, and, to be honest, now it's kind of too late because I already, I kind of already remember and it'll be kind of weird me like playing it and saying the lore of it when I already know what happened and I basically know all of the little like connections in the story. So sorry about that, but hey, V6, V6 is an awesome mod. It's a lot more chill than I was expecting when I first played it, but it was still really good. I loved it. And now, I've heard a lot of, not heard, but I've seen, like, a lot of thumbnails and stuff, and just YouTube uh, titles, and apparently this mod is awesome. Like, really, really good. And it's not on Scratch. It's on, uh, Korea, no, Kokri, Okria, dot world, whatever. Basically where you can send your, um, your Scratch products in here without it getting, like, taken down, if it's too scary. So, anyways, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna do beat one. And I expect top tier of yeah. Anyways, this is the first beat, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh what? What? Oh my goodness. We have. I'm sorry. I'm already blown away. These designs are crazy. Okay, we saw you on the front cover. Ooh! <laughs> okay, we got it. We got a little bit of a snare. Nice. Dude, this skull guy. Oh my! What are these designs? Oh! Ooh. <laughs> oh, we got our kick. I thought, dude, I, I thought it was, I thought it was to make bongos. Ooh, he has teeth in his eye, or is that, is that not even his eye, is that like just a mouth there? Oh, this is kind of fast paced. What, what, this is kind of fast paced though, isn't it? Ooh. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm already getting hyped up. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Wait, is space still like a number? Not a number, but you can use it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm already blown away. I am already. Oh my god. I'm so. Oh, I forgot full screen, guys. Oops. Okay. It probably didn't change for you. It might. It may look better. I don't know, but I, I forgot full screen. <laughs> dude, I'm so excited. Dude. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away. Dude. Oh, I'm so hyped. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm so hyped. Hello? Oh, okay. We got a nice, nice face. These designs. I can't. I, I can't get enough. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh, that's sick. What? What? No, you can't gloss over that. What? Dude, this art. Oh 
my goodness. Oh my gosh, dude, I... Isn't this, uh, that man you saw 13, right? That's the creator. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm just gonna check it. Am I, am I correct? Oh. Sep... Wait. I'm sorry. Sepeza? Sepeza? Okay, I thought it was... Maybe it's Scratch names that. But, dude... No, dude, you can't gloss over this. You can't, dude. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. The quality. The quality. This TV is dope as well. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, that, oh, that, that goes really well with the beat. Now we got the girl from the ring. What? Never mind. Oh, I had a voice cracked, but, but never mind. What? Stop, dude, I can't. Dude, this is so cool. Oh, I can see why the wait was so long. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. No, this is beyond what I expected. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I probably should have been checking the lore, but we'll do that afterwards. Oh my gosh. Oh my, dude, this. Dude, what? So what is that? Is that like a oh the book? I thought I thought it was a sandwich. <laughs> Dude, what? Dude. Dude, I can't get enough of this. Oh my god. Oh my god, these are hearts, I can't get enough of this. What? Dude, these freaking just- Wait, 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 wait. You're the eyeball person, aren't you? What? Dude! These animations! These animations! I can't! I can't! I can't! I- I can't, dude. Oh my gosh. This is so good! I don't care that I'm making weird noises. Dude, hit me again, dude. Okay. Oh. Wait. Ooh. Oh, so you can still see the pole in the back. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but it's fine. We got a string. Okay. Hold on, is this the other- is this that dude who has the arms coming out of his back? Is this this dude? Is this this dude? Okay, you know what? No, I gotta stop assuming it just- Oh, whoops. I'll read the- I'll, I'll read the, the lore later, it's fine, but- Don't- this is so good! I love this guy! I think it's just the expression! 
Doing the animation's insane. Wait. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't be doing this, but hey. Out of your steam. Oh my <laughs> you can see my mouth move around, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just vibing here. Dude, dude, dude. There's nothing bad about this so far. Oh my goodness, I I love Setbox. It's probably one of the most unique series out there. And it's like almost like almost one of the first series, right? To actually like be like to like continue on. I didn't think that I didn't think that we were getting V seven. I didn't know that. I thought Embers was was, was like the final one. Steam. Okay, that's out. I'm closing Steam. Okay, what, what I was saying was, um, yeah, because <laughs> Embers had like a finale theme to it. Like it it felt final. But then we have this, and oh, it hits! It hits so hard. Okay, I gotta stop talking, and we're gonna go with the the voices, which I am really excited for. Oh my goodness, you remind me of what's it? Effect three or two from Arn? No, not Arn. I mean, oh my goodness. Yeah, you're effect two from. Uh, uh, the return. I'm thrown away to the darkness. Now your life depends on me, cause I made a deal with the heartless. No, no one will remember. Why? That's sick. I'm thrown away. What? That's so cool looking. How many sprites did that take? That looks so good. I missed. Oh, the dark oh my goodness. Oh, hello. Who are you? Silence for the day. What? Oh, I messed up. Whoops. Ah, oh, I messed up. Shoot. It's fine. Oh. We got we got choir again. We have two choirs. Let's go. Dude. Waiting in the shadows for the ones that cannot see. Waiting in the silence for the day. I'm trying, I'm trying to hear the lyrics. Cannot be. Okay, okay. Dude. He's played by my favorite voice. Look, this is so cool sounding. And the animation's so nice. That, dude! Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Okay, yeah, I see it. We're gonna make the best beat I can imagine in this. You know, how about we have you? You're you're awesome. Um I 
setting up for that one. Ooh. Oh, now, now I'm really excited for this lore. <sighs> okay, Annie, calm down. I'm gonna duplicate this so I just have the uh, a lore. Sorry for the bright screen. There we go. Uh. Oh, there we go. Will it play the sound for me? I wonder. Oh, yep. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Does it play the sound? Okay, we got... Oh, okay. I, I, I'm not going to see it yet because I just want to get to the... How do I get to the... Oh, here we go. Okay. Wait, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, never mind. I'm probably just tripping. I thought he was. Wait, Steam. Who else has Steam? I'm thinking. What was it? Beat three from the depths and beat two from Embers. Watch. I don't actually know for sure, but hey. So this is okay. We're just gonna start. We're just gonna, we're gonna start reading this. Uh, here we go. Okay. So we got Khan. I think I already know you. Uh, and also Tam Fatman. That all sounds familiar too. So um, well, uh, we found Khan's body, except we found it up and walking around. You can imagine the genuine fear Dallas felt when he found him. At first, we all thought it was a another faker pretending to be Khan again, but not. Nah. Alex discovered that a Theo ghost uh, had possessed his corpse. This thing doesn't seem to be hostile, but isn't friendly either. You, you could, no, no, you could, you could this counter? Uh, it was very interesting to say the least. It's probably, it's probably, you can say this kind of person. Okay. All right. Cool. So, who was Khan again? I'm trying to remember. Who was Khan again? Hold on. Okay, so apparently Scratch is stupid. Nothing's loading. Huh. Is it in here? Uh, can I see if Setbox is here? Hold on. Oh, okay. Wait, I didn't even notice. He's working on... Okay, well, yeah, but he's he's working on a remake of Steel Factory, I assume? Uh, a color box version. That's cool. A Ghost and Stuff Remastered in Caverns. Okay. I don't know what these last two are, but these two seem cool. Okay. You don't make stupidings. You don't make... No, that's not true. He's cool. Oh. He's cool. <laughs> Anyways, get ready. <laughs> We're gonna go to the next sound. Okay. Um, Skull Man. Yeah. What's your deal? Bones. Okay. Yeah. Very fitting. Uh. He's alive. Okay. Bones appear to. Uh, Bones appears to be an abyssal, who has fused with the skeleton of an unknown animal, native to the depths. Oh. Okay. It was beyond the outskirts of the society. It is possible that either the Abyssal is attempting to ass ass wait, ass assimilate, no, assimilate the bones or is using it as armor. Similar to a hermit crab, okay. Bones behave very similar to a wild dog. Sometimes very timid, sometimes very aggressive. It would, it would still be a good idea to keep your distance, but it, shouldn't, but it should be noted that Bones isn't something to worry about a lot. Alex Barn. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, whoops. I muted it. Dude, this guy's design is insane. Like, that skull is so detailed. Dude. That is crazy. And even that icon. Okay, who are you? You seem like a, a recurring character, I feel like. So let's see. Dallas Riot A. That's cool because that's the same polo from Embers, I'm pretty sure. Dallas is a new member of the Vital Force after his assistance with, with defeating Arthur. Who's Arthur? I don't know. He was admitted personally by Cam and John. Had, you know what? 
We're gonna have like a, like a, a little, little bit of a. Oh! Yeah! Okay. Sorry. Uh, after after his assistance with, with defeating Arthur, he was admitted personally by Tam and John. Wait. He was personally admitted. Per no. He was admitted admitted personally by Tam and John. Had approved it. Oh, never mind. I read that wrong. Okay. Dallas and John had had both been you know, went to explore the depths and to try and learn more about the hidden society that, that the epistles are from. Dallas was required to wear a gas mask in certain parts of the depths due to bloom gas, fungal spores that when inhaled cause, cause a disease called epithesipathy. I hope I said that right. Uh, an illness that causes hallucinations, aggression, and madness, driving humans insane to the point of killing without reason. Okay, uh, Dallas, Dallas' brother, um, Elliot, had unfortunately became victim of the E disease, <laughs> inspiring Dallas to help work with the vital force. Cool. Oh, these effects do it. Okay, we're gonna go with the next guys. Oh, B, yeah. Who are you? I feel like I should know you. No, I don't. Okay. Sun Drummer. Um, okay, so apparently the Abyssals worship, worship the snow. Worship. Why did I say worship? What? <laughs> worship the, the sun as a god, which I guess makes sense because they live in the depths, a place without sunlight. Does, does that technically mean that Edgar is Jesus Christ? Dude, really? Since he's just the first ever Abyssal to encounter the sun in prison? Bruh. No. <laughs> Our boy here is a drummer that plays for the sun. Often... A, Participating in rituals, no, ritualistic ceremonies or other events related to the sun. He behaves very immaturely and acts very innocent. Um, lucky him, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, wait, he's very immaturely. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. I'm not, like, yeah, never mind. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. So, so far, I, I only re recognize two people. What's your deal? Yeah, what is your deal? Harvester, okay. Basically, a grouchy old man who can't handle our youngster's shenanigans. He works as a farmer of the society, harvesting several crops, fruits, and vegetables native to the depths. However, he seems very against trespassing and doesn't seem to hesitate on chasing people with that huge damn sight. He's kind of, he's kind of scary, not gonna lie. Chris O'Tan said that. I mean, yeah, he does have a big scythe right there. I can see that, yeah. Okay, very interesting. Now, we already have you and you up, so we'll go with you next, right? Ar Ar Archivist. Okay. The Archivist is, is an extremely reliable abyssal who has been sending us information through John, join, uh, no, allowing us to write these documents in the first place. The, Ar the Archivist owns an entire library dedicated to preserving ancient history of, of the abyss. It's also co-owned by her friend, the curator. I probably said that wrong, I don't know. Uh, when Dallas first, no, when Dallas first entered the abyss, uh, he ended up having to pause his exploration up for about 10 minutes because the archivist had never seen a human in person before and wanted to document as, as much as much as she should, as much as she could. Man, I cannot speak, I'm sorry. All right, cool, cool. Uh, what's next? We got you, TV. There's been so many like monitors and TVs throughout this entire series, so I'm curious, what's your deal? The faker. Okay. Uh, oh, you're dead. Okay. This is kind of tiny to read. Okay. Since our last investigation of the faker, we've discovered that some more in no, that some more information about it. It seems to function as a hive mind. Multiple fakers can exist at once, but only one faker um, specifically links to all of their lives together. This specific faker has yet to be discovered. Uh, Dr. Maswenth, I, no, Maswenth, that's from the last version, I think, has likely done this to make the fakers more difficult to get rid of. This one's, um, 
this one specifically was located outside the abyss of society. It seems that fakers, when first born, can only mimic stationary objects like phones or, in this case, a television. As it, as it continues to eat and evolve, it's able to mimic animals and even humans. John was able to safely dispatch and kill one of one, kill this one on the way to the society. Okay, so it's just dead. Gotcha. That probably explains why there's a crack, but. Cool, interesting. Now, yeah, what's your deal? No, what the freak is your deal? What is your deal? <laughs> yeah. You know, we'll probably have you off just for now because you're quite loud, but what the freak is your deal? Eradicator. Yeah, okay. Dr. Maswinth had a third monster the whole time. He was sent to attack the society. For what reason? He was defeated and and then and and he, re he retreated to somewhere far away. He was bleeding heavily, however, so a lot of abyssals automatically assumed he bled out and died. I'm not trusting that one bit. I know Maswinth. Okay. Oh, John said this. Okay. So basically, Dr. Maswinth created three monsters, and this is one. I don't know what the other two monsters are, but we'll probably find that out. Actually, you know, you're probably one of them, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna have uh, you now. I'm actually pretty curious about you. Okay, Wick. Uh, severely injured. Ah, gotcha. So Wick was the lookout for, for the society, who's used those light, those those bright as hell lights to cast spotlights on onto any incoming threat. It should, be, it should also be noted that she and Edgar had gone gotten along very well before Edgar f fleed in, into the surface. Even to the point of Edgar, Edgar considering having Wick to be the princess if you catch my drift. Oh, gotcha, okay. However, when the Eradicator attacked, oh, okay, Wick was able to cast a spotlight on them to alert everyone of his position. This led to, this led to the Eradicator being er Enraged and mauled Wick. Shoo, okay. Separating her lower half and the rest of her body? Wait, what? Oh! Oh! That explains. Okay, look, you see there? There's like some metal spine right there. Okay, well, that explains that. Okay. Uh. Oh. Uh, she, however, survived this devastating attack. A part of her spine was permanently destroyed, so it had to be replaced by mechanical prosthetics prosthetics to, to, to retach your legs she's still trying to relearn how to walk and stand up on to this day well at least she survived she seems pretty chill okay the curator yes you so you're the curator oh wait we, we read about you okay um the curator is the co-owner of the, of the historical library along with the archivist okay so basically these two are like buddies they kind of own the the library Gotcha, okay. Unlike the archivist, the curator doesn't seem to be too fond of humanity, arguing that the entire reason abyssals are stuck underground is because of the fears of humans many, many years ago. Which I guess could be historically accurate. He only he only tolerated the presence of Dallas because the archivist said that if he if he wait. Dallas because if he Wait, what I'll get wait, wait. He only tolerated the presence of Dallas because the archivist, because the archivist said that if he did, she would give him a kiss. Boy, what the freak? <laughs> okay then. Um, the curator especially seemed to be fond of curses and spells, having an entire collection of them. However, due to how seriously what hurt this guy is, maybe we shouldn't ask him about it. Oh, he's alive and seriously angry. Ah. Uh, I ship them now. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, Tam. All right, man. Oh, I still had you the entire time. I need to. All right, we're gonna go to the first melody now. Yeah, you're the watcher. I feel like you're the watcher. Oh, you're the queen. Oh, okay then. Um, the queen is a secondary ruler of, of the Abyssal Society, responsible for most laws and politics. She doesn't. No, she didn't seem to mind Dallas. Dallas's visit, as she started. To, as she as she started. No, stated she could detect the in, in, intent behind Dallas's soul. This may be because a queen of this Libra gender... What? Is of Libra gender, so she so she is able to de detect anybody's motivations and intentions. Okay. 
Note, we use gender as a placeholder term. There are 12 different kinds of abyssal named after zodiac signs. We all name them genders as a way to simplify. Oh, okay. Each different gender has a different ability to check the chart for more details. What's the chart? I'll probably find it. Okay. You, the huntress. Yeah. Uh, you. Yeah, you're dope. How about you? Okay. The Huntress was, a, was the first ever abyssal that Dallas encountered that actually came from the society. While exploring the outskirts, the Huntress w was hunted was, was hunting some fauna before coming across Dallas and, and John. She offered to bring them to the society, saying that it is dangerous to be alone out here if you don't know what you're doing. This case was prevalent when they were attacked by a wild animal along the way, in which the Huntress quickly dispatched it with, with her bow. Ah, okay. Gotcha. So, also, is this a bit loud? No, I'll turn this down. There we go, okay. So, very cool, very cool. Yeah, how about you? What even is this? I don't even know what this is. So, let's see. Chime. Chime was an abyssal who, whose sole purpose was to ring a massive bell to warn the society of incoming threats. Are you that bell dude from all the... All of the versions ago, actually in the last version, and the deaths. I swear, bro. Uh. However, when the Eradicator attacked, Chime did his job accordingly and got attacked. Oh, his face was more beyond recognition, and the bell was shattered into pieces. Oh, so this is the remnants of the bell. Oh, man, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Okay. He was, like, he was extremely close to death when the other abyssals found him, and they stabilized and, and they stabilized him just in time. He is still currently recovering in the society's medical center. His health isn't declining, but is not improving either. It's really interesting. Stanley, no! Wait! Didn't Alex name him Stanley in the last version? I, I think I'm remembering now. Okay. Now we got you guard let's see what your deal is okay the guard was a royal swordsman who swore to protect the throne and its people when the eradicator attacked the the guard was able to solo it along with the fierce battle this guy's dope oh he's dead <laughs> okay then and the eradicator was horribly injured and had to retreat afterwards but not before lethally injuring the guard no well but the guard was bleeding and no, no, no. Um, but the guard was bleeding out severely before de delivering his final words to the queen, who asked us and to not put them in. Wait, to not put them in these documents, out of respect. Wait, what? For what? But the royal family is planning on building a statue of him in, in the town square to, to memor to, to m m memorialize his sacrifice. Sorry, I I, I have a hard time speaking sometimes. Uh, okay, we're gonna go with the next guy. I swear, if this is not that that dude from Embers, that dude who had like the arms out of his back with the strings, and also Melody 2 from the Aftermath, if it's not, like even this Melody sounds like from, from, from the Aftermath, if it's not, I'm gonna cry. Tree. Okay. I swear. It's... Man, I thought I was being smart for a second, bro. Okay. Uh, still a tree. Okay. It's a tree. That, that's literally it. It's just a tree. Okay, fine. It grows... No, okay. It grows an abyssal fruit that when consumed while well, expired or unripe causes... Acro... Acrocheriosis. Acrocheriosis. A foreign disease that, that, that produces a protein that severely mutates your insides into producing excessive amounts of extra limbs. Wait! The Emperor's dude! He ate a fruit! And it became like that. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but... Uh... Oh, before they explode out your body. Abyssals are... Whoops, I did not read that. How do I go back? Oh. No! Hold on. Got it, okay. Um... Sorry, uh, wh where was I? Oh, abyssals are immune to it, so it might be immune system. Okay, but other than that, it's literally just a tree. Okay. Gotcha. What? What? what, what, what that, that, that's all the melodies. Now we got them beautiful choirs. Yeah. 
it's no doubt that it's no doubt that you're not sorry it's no doubt that you're the dude from the return effect 2 i'm pretty sure if it's not dude i, I don't even know status at large what this epistle was ex exiled from society for murder. The exact details of this case are not are, are, are not that known, but apparently the rebel was only possible wait was the only was the only possible suspect out of out of everyone in society. So he was so so he was the one punished. The rebel ended up going to the surface to find humanity. Obviously the humans weren't too thrilled with his, with his existence, so he was sent back down. Frustrated with everything, he ended up teaming up with Arler Masmic, okay, uh, his rumor, it's rumored that he was there during the, during the Eradicator's attack on the society, helping it, helping it find its way to the walls before it was caught by Wick. Gotcha. I still think that it's a dude from, uh, wait, is this the, yeah, okay, I think it is. But I swear, it, it's, it's, it's the dude from The Return, if it's not. Okay, um, I'll be honest, I don't want to play him, to be honest. <laughs> okay, uh, Aaron and question mark, okay, he's half dead. Okay then, uh, Aaron was a vital force member who, whose main job was to protect the gateway between the depths and the surface. He was killed by, I have much crap, <laughs> he was killed by unknown means, but, but not forever. We eventually found him walking around the days, oh, we walking around days confused. It turns out that he made a deal with, with, with Leo, wait, with, with the Leo ghost to keep on living, but now must do anything the, uh, the ghost tells him to do. We're trying to assist uh, Aaron in any way that we can. The ghost is very cheeky and doesn't seem to enjoy being a pest around here. Gotcha. So, so we got ghosts in here too. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Now, how about you? I'm very curious about you. What the frick is your deal? Stargazer, well that makes sense. He, he literally has stars inside of his mask. Okay. Oh, those are all read. Okay. The Stargazer is the firstborn of the Master and the Queen, also being the older sibling of, of Edgar. However, this does not mean that. No, this does not mean the Stargazer is, 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 the, is the rightful. Wait, is the rightful heir to, to the throne, as a requested. No, as he requested not to be given that responsibility. Not a lot of abyssals are actually aware of the, star, of, of, the of the stargazer's existence. This was mostly due to the phenomenon that the, that the stargazer possesses all twelve genders and all the abilities they come with. It's also noted that the stargazer prefers to spend a lot of time alone and away from people. The stargazer also seems to be fluent in multiple different languages, including English, including some slang that's possibly and very wait. In, in the very reason the epistles adopted English as a second language. The explanation for the stargazer knowing human language is currently unknown. Alex is not that hard to realize he's just an introvert. You know what? That is true. Some, sometimes people just don't want to be other with other people. And you know what? I can respect that. Okay. Very, very interesting. Okay. Um, now how about you? Yeah, what's your deal? Yeah, yeah, well, what's your deal? Master- Oh, it's the master! Okay, so we got- We got master and- And we got the queen. Okay, okay. Cool. Interesting, okay. Uh, the master is a- Is a king of the ruler of- Wait, and ruler of the depths. Responsible for most war efforts and government factors. Since his son Edgar had, had fleed to the surface, the master was not happy seeing Dallas, a human, wait, a human, uh, enter the kingdom. However, he was somehow convinced by John to let him stay, as if they knew each other. The master is of princesses. Is of princesses. Okay, I don't know how to say that. Gender and thus, and thus able to shapeshift into other forms, such as looking vaguely human. Before Dallas was allowed to leave. He was forced to promise that he that that we would bring Edgar Edgar back to his home, which might be difficult considering Edgar doesn't really want to go back. But we'll figure out something out. Okay. So we got an angry father basically. That that's what I'm getting at here. He probably drinks too. You know what? He probably drinks too. <laughs> uh. Okay. You. You're cool, right? Oh, I don't remember your sound. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're cool. Oh, we got John! Oh, perfect, okay. Um, the founder and leader of the Vital Force assisted Dallas in his exploration of, of, of the depths. He's able to shape shift, so he wears a diamond-shaped crystal on his necklace, so it's easy to, so, so it's easy to I, I, identify him. There's not much else that, that needs to be said, okay? John is hiding somewhere from us. I know that 100% he's on our side, but he's still concealing something about him. No. And why the hell does he know Master? Well, he seemed to be part of the final- wait. I mean, is he part of the Depths? I mean- oh, whoops. I mean, he's part of the Vital Force, I know that, which is the- the Surface Team, right? But, he probably was like a- he was probably from the Depths, something like that, right? That's probably what I'm getting at here. Oh, Aaron and- Wait, what? Why? That was just- Wait, 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 sorry, 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 hold on. Why is it... Why is this here? Oh, I don't know why that's there. Okay. Um, wow, okay. This video... I've been recording for 42 minutes? Jeez! Oh, I'm sorry, people. Okay. Wow, this lore is crazy, bro. I probably should have read the lore as I was playing the game. I probably should have been doing that. I don't, I, I don't know why I didn't do that, but I'm sorry about that. Dude, okay, I didn't make as many connections as I thought I was going to do. Like, I thought, there'd be, I thought there's, there's going to make characters from the other versions. I'm not going to lie, I liked the connections in Embers more. Cause I just, again, I, I'm not going to post, or sorry, I'm not, I'm not going to make the stream public because it's just going to be awkward and I sound way younger. I. It's just, it's kind of cringy to me, so, but, yeah, I found the lore and the connections and, um, and the embers a lot more engaging than this, no offense to the creator at all. It's still, do and, to be honest, that's not really the main part of the, of the mod, it's the music and the designs and the pole and just everything. This, these design like this, uh, this, uh, what else is crazy? You're crazy? Like, these! These designs are crazy. You're absolutely crazy, dude. Like, dude. Wait, shh, shh, hold on. Also, I will say too, um, the the animations. The animations are top tier. Like, I am blown away of how good the animations are in this. The icons may be a bit over detailed in some parts. Like, this one's a bit over detailed. Maybe this one, too. Though, I guess this one's fine, too. But, uh, but that's really that. That's really that, 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 that. That's a minor, minor issue. That's and frankly, it barely even is an issue because I was just it, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, just dude, I'm I'm blown away of how good this is. No, screw you. you okay, well, no offense, but yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. This video is already way too long. I'll put some sounds up to just just make a little bit of an outro. No, no, you're you're too crazy. Oh, hold on. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, yeah, all in all, easily the best setbox version. 
That's not even a question or even like a thought at all. Best of X version. Quality and music, the lore. Yeah, it's good. Maybe not as good as Embers, but it's still good. At, at, at least there's actually lore, you know? I mean, it makes sense, but. Still, though, you're still a fat two from, from Return. If you're not, no, I call BS on that. These two things, nah, hold on. Wait, I forgot. I can't go back to the versions. Shoot. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I have my video, though. Let's see. Yeah, see, look at it. Come on. You cannot tell me that, that that's not that dude. Oh, whoops. I muted it. Like, right? Come on. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, okay? I'll be honest, okay. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah. Again, amazing mod. There's nothing bad about it. Every sound is top tier. Sounds amazing. Goes with everything really well. The designs are insane. If, if, if this still only worked by, um, uh, uh, that man you saw 13, if, if, if this is only made by him, or they, she, I don't know actually what gender you are, I'm sorry, but, uh, respect to you, major respect, because this is so good. This might even be, like, my new favorite Scratch mod, because, like, it's just so well done. And, like, it stands out as, like, a really unique mod, too, that's why I love it so much. Okay, yeah. Again, that's really all I have to say about this. Uh, I'm sorry for coming to this a bit later than I should have. I know it came out like four days ago. My bad on that. Um, let's see, what, what, what else I have to say? Oh yeah, again, do you guys want me to play Corrupt Box? I, I didn't do it yet, and I haven't gotten any responses, but should I play Corrupt Box? I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. I've heard it's very good, so if you guys want, if you guys want me to play that, please let me know. Uh, I'll even comment it down, I'll probably pin it, and just like that comment a lot, or like, just like this video a lot, and, um, uh, yeah, if you want me to play that, like the video, if, 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 if you want me to play Corrupt Box, like the video, um, anyways, I need to end this video, it's too way too long, and I'll, I'll see, see you guys in the next video, so bye.